Hey guys, it's Dash Roll Rush. I'm bored, and I feel like I want to make a video. Just a casual thing, just me kind of talking and saying stuff. No real topic. Just really stalling from doing my summer homework. But moving on. I thought this would be a good time to explain the origin of uh, the Durka Durka, something I say a lot. Now, some people think I got it from Team America, and uh, that's not true. I didn't see that movie. In fact, I've never seen the movie, but I've only like heard that it's from Team America until like a year or so after I started doing it. Um, some people who follow my, my YouTube videos also might think I got it from Zero Nineteen and it's Kirby's Adventure Playthrough. And actually, I did not get it from that either, even though he says Durka Durka in like, the first part. What happened was, at the end of freshman year, uh, in high school, I noticed uh, that I mumbled a lot. And I was just mumbling incoherent junk. And because I'm such a weird guy, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to kind of make one thing that I continuously mumble over and over and over again. I Don't ask me why I wanted to do this, I just kind of did, because I'm a weird person. So I settled upon der. Ka, Durka, and so uh, that's the origin of the Durka, 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 that I do. Now I just kind of do it instead of an uh or mumbling, just kind of whenever I feel it fits. Durka, Durka. So, Durka, 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 Durka. I'm saying it a lot now, I'm just, I don't know, it kind of fits, I'm guessing, since I explained the origin of the Durka, Durka. Hello, if you know me in real life, uh, if you're one of my friends watching this, you know that I do say it quite often. Another thing, um, is that, uh, I do have kind of a British fetish. Not a sexual one, just like a cultural one, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I really wish I were British and had that accent and stuff. Um... This did not originate from Hellfire Comms, like maybe some of you might have guessed, um, but from the Beatles. I was always a big fan of them. And something weird that kind of relates to this is that when I was in like second grade or third grade, when I first learning about the when I was first learning about the Revolutionary War, I hated the Brits because uh, you know I was so limited in my knowledge. And I was like, oh my God, they're so evil, trying to take over America. Durka Durk. And, um, so, yeah. So I started, like, hating them until I was like, oh, wait, the Beatles are from Britain. And then I realized that Britain's kind of cool, and British people are kind of cool. At least their accent is. I love their accent. It's so cool. So, yeah. And now I kind of, not, it's not like a sexual fetish. It's just, uh, I, I like the, the accent and stuff. Not sexually, just, I don't know. It's hard to explain to people. Um, uh, here's something I've, I've noticed just in the world is that whenever I go into like a movie theater bathroom or something like that, you know, where there's like a bunch of people in the bathroom at the same time all doing their business. And of course, because I'm a guy, I can only say experience from like guys' bathrooms. I don't know what it's like for uh, you with vaginas. But. What I happen to notice is that black people tend to wash their hands and overall be more cleanly in uh, those situations than white people. I haven't really made ad observations uh, to Asians and Indian people, uh, so I really can't tell you about that, but just something I noticed that black people tend to um, wash their hands more and be more cleanly. I don't know why this is, it's just kind of a weird thing. Another thing I've noticed just around the world is that whenever I open a bottle of soda, the uh, bubbles are always on the right side. They always like, form and gather on the right side of the bottle. Well, on the top of it, you know, the bubbles float. And there are like maybe two or three little ones on the left, but like, the whole colony of them are on the right side. And, uh, it's not because like tables are tilted either. It can be tilted in, to the left and the bubbles float. Whatever. Actually, more to the right because of the look. Anyway, buoyancy stuff. 
Uh, something that's going on. Uh, I'm still in the middle of a move. I should be moving um, around the 27th. And because of that, the 20, um, August 26th through August 28th, I won't have internet. And that's going to be horrible. Because uh, I, I appreciate the internet more than I appreciate food. And I'm going to be missing all the stuff and the news and junk that I get from the internet. Mm. I'm eating now, too. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about. I just kind of want to talk. I've been watching a lot of Lucky Star lately. The anime Lucky Star, you know, Konata. It's about my third or fourth time actually watching through the series. I'm not watching it like through series, I'm just watching like casually. And it's probably like my second favorite anime ever, maybe third. And Kanata is definitely my favorite anime character ever. It used to be Edward Elric, but I like Kanata a smidge more. And yeah, my favorite anime is Full Metal Alchemist. And I really like what they're doing with the new series. I mean, yeah, they're not really focusing on the story and the character development as much. They're rushing it. And I feel that they shouldn't do that. Because, um, something I was like, when uh, Hughes died, oh my god, spoiler. Oh yeah, when Hughes died um, in the newest iteration, I didn't get that emotional tug, you know, uh, as strongly as I did when I first saw it in the in the first anime. And then in the manga, I still felt that. I don't know, it could just be not, uh, because I knew it was happening and I kind of expected it. But I just don't think they really developed him as a character and made you feel as attached to him as they did in the other iterations of Full Metal Alchemist. But I do appreciate that they're actually following the manga this time. Although I get what they did the first time because the manga was, uh, but they, you know, they didn't want any filler and stuff. Uh, nothing. I just made that 10, you know, top 10 video games I'm looking forward to for the rest of the year. And about a few minutes after posting that on YouTube, I realized, holy shit, I'm going to need a lot more money to afford all this. This isn't a cry for help. I'm not begging. I'm just saying I will definitely need to save up and hopefully get a uh, job over like the maybe the Christmas season. I am moving, so there should be... I'm moving towards a lot more businesses, too, than where I am now. Hopefully I can find more things closer to home just to work so I could uh, feed my gaming addiction. Well, not addiction, habit. I hate how people, like, say gaming is an addiction without kind of realizing that they spend five to six hours in front of the TV daily. It's just how, like, because the TV has been around longer, it's much more accepted than gaming is. And I feel that's the only prejudice, is that these people don't aren't quite used to it yet. Even though it's been, what is it, 20 years? And I think... Uh, like, in the first 20 years of gaming, there are more gaming systems owned than there were TVs in the first 20 years of TV, TV television's existence. I think. I could be wrong. I probably, yeah, I'm probably just pulling this out of my ass. I did remember hearing that from somewhere. Though it could have been in jest. I don't remember. Though, so, you also have to think of inflation and stuff, and how radio is a lot more popular, and jerk for jerk jerk. My room is a mess because of this move. I just have like a whole pile of trash that I'm gonna throw away. So I won't have to move all of it. Nothing I really want either, just some old stuff. Uh, not stuff that could be donating like clothes, just old stuff that no one's really interested in that I used to be. Um, I have like, some old Shonen Jumps and Game Informers there if you wanna buy any. I doubt that, but I would gladly accept your monies. Um, also, I'm sure I have, like, a couple hundred Yu-Gi-Oh cards if you want them. That's right, YouTube. 
you want my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, come and make a video response or reply or PM me and be like, hey, I want your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I'll be like, sure, uh, send me a check or I'll set up a PayPal account or something or other. Uh,